All right, we're gonna kind of do a shave today, but more sharpening stuff. So this Brit sends me a razor with a codicil. He wants me to test them together. He wants me to test the stone. He wants me to put an edge on his razor. And he's from way far away, one of those oceans across. And this is the razor he sends. It's a Drew Dick. A dicky do. It's a very nice razor, very well made, you know, one of these custom ones. Um, so we're going to test it. Now, I did put the codical edge on it. But it's funny because he sent it to me and I said to him, I said, what do you, you think you're George Washington or something? You're trying to chop down a tree with this? It was jagged. It looked like a like a saw blade. I mean, there's some serious hacks on it. Oh my, wow, that's nice. Very nice edge. Yeah, I could tell when going at it that it was good steel. You know, I, I started off with one layer of, of tape, one layer of Super 88 tape on it, and I saw that it just wasn't getting to the edge. So I put two layers of regular 33 tape on it, and it was there. So that's probably what they used when they, when they did it. But I'm having a hard time holding on to this with this big old huge thumb notch there in the way. Actually, that monkey tail uh, um, tang is pretty cool, but from, for some reason, I'm just having a hard time with this. Edgewise, very nice. Um, all right, I'm testing another razor someone sent me. Bobby, a Bengal. Man, this thing was in rough shape. Rough shape. It took me almost two hours. I was, had to fix this stabilizer heel, and I had to keep going. I had to keep going back to it because it, you know, I'd hone it for a bit, and then I'd get a heel hook, then I'd have to trim it and hone it and trim it and hone it. And I kept, and of course, I had to polish it in the scales. Man. These are beautiful scales, so the, the tortoise scales, but they needed to be worked, sanded, and, and that. So this one, I used the same stone. Woo, nice, wow. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's, it's as good as the other one, and I, for the price differential. So I took this to an 8K, and then to the codicil under running water, as usual. And the edge looks really nice under the scope from this stone. This is an exceptional stone. The guy who had sent it to me, he really wasn't sure what he had gotten. But you can see, very refined edge. And then, you can show it. 
after I did it at the sink, I brought it to my bench and did it with the soapy water to finish it off. The uh, It gets so sticky at the sink. When I go to the soapy water, you can push it a little further. And I do that at my bench. That's kind of nice. I've been doing that lately with some stones. If you want, you can kind of get down low and... That's it guys. Now this is where the real problem in this razor, in my eyes, arises. Trying to strop it with the way it's made with this big notch here and the way that the spines are, or the, the, the scales are curved like that. So as you try and strop it, it seems to like curve around my hand makes it pretty difficult, or at least not as comfortable as a razor that's, actually this part's not too bad. When I was doing it, because what it wants to do is curl like this. What I did when I was in the shop last night, I took a nine millimeter shell casing and put it in there so it wouldn't collapse and wrap around my hand like that to keep it more straight. And then I taped it, and I was able to strop it. So, we'll see how she does on the against the green. Now, that's sweet. I don't know if you can hear the difference, but that, I don't know if I put it back, right? That is a hollow versus a, that's like a, not even quarter hollow, that's like one of the old true wedge type things. Ooh. Well, no noise. That's really nice. Very nice edge. Bloody hell, mate, you're gonna love this.
the hell is going on with my lighting? I keep flickering, I'm seeing something in the corner of my eye get real dark and then real bright. So I apologize if that's screwing with you. Well, very nice feeling shave. No cuts, no nicks, no irritation. Very well done. Oh, you want to know what products I'm using with the aftershave and what the soap is? I'm not telling you. I'm not giving Peter any more free advertising. That's it. No more. <laughs> oh, that stuff works and smells good. All right. So, what's my final wrap-up on this? Well... Bengal, this old vintage razor, performed very nicely, took some work, cleaned it up, beautiful, love it. All right, as far as the, the Drew Dick, very well made, very nice quality, the scales, you know, just, just, just very nice work, but honestly, not my thing, these hyper stylized, razors you know i mean they in my opinion they they look nice or if that's what you're into but as far as functionally for me i'm just into the real basic stuff kind of like my old stark razor you know just straight and flat and um but it, i mean it, it is good steel it's very well done I, I i can't knock it on any of those levels just not my thing so i appreciate you guys watching um if you have, oh, you know what I wanted to mention? If you have any questions, email me. But my emails change because my Hotmail account, they, they put most of that stuff in, even the personal emails they put in, the, in my junk file. And I try and check it every day, but sometimes they slip by. So my new email, and I guarantee that I'll contact you within minutes or hour or whatever, is going to be drmatt1911 at gmail.com. drmatt1911 at gmail.com. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.